Okay, so now we are at a quest. Ah, you son of a motherfucker. Damn it. Bitch. Anyway, we're on a quest. Let's go help this dude get some glasses. He lost his glasses or his buddy stepped on him or something. So he's like, yeah, can you get my glasses for me? Okay, sure. We've gotta run to his apartment. See if we can find his glasses. Oh, boy, Zambies on the way. Zambies in the daytime aren't too bad. They're, well, the Zambies in general aren't bad. These are just the mindless little nuts ones that are pretty stupid. They can be a threatening when they're a giant group of them, but... Usually you just kick them around a little bit. Smack them with an electric baton. <laughs> as long as you just deal with one at a time, they're not too bad. Anyway, let's get back to finding the, uh... Oh, wait. I wanted to grab something over here from this blue waypoint. There's a crafting material. It's called Toxic Lichen. There we go. And I just figured out you can actually open the map, and there's, there's waypoints on here. Herb, underwater algae, herb, Toxic Lichen, fluorescent shrooms. I didn't even notice. I never really looked at the map. I just used the, the waypoints in the mini-map. So I found this out, because then I can, when I get this stuff, I can build me... Uh, what was it? All-purpose toxic striker and add tox effect to my weapons. Yeah, if I can find more of it, anyway. Oh, there's some more. There we go. There's just a few more pieces of this shit. Grab all that I can while I'm here. I have not seen too much more. Show you guys a couple of different weapons I have. I have a hammer that has an uh, electric battery on it, so it makes it into an electric weapon. What is this? Oh, stupid exploding zombies. And every time a noise happens, it draws a bunch of zombies out. Um, weapon I'm using now is a little military shovel with a like a cutter attachment on it. It's got an extra little blade on the end. You can see it's kind of beat up. I need to repair it soon. But it does extra bleeding damage with that thing on there. It's a pretty good weapon. But uh, so far, um, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It's it's kind of of a good uh, like mindless zombie bashing game. I ran right past this guy's apartment. It's got some RPG elements. You level up as you kill stuff and just different things like that. You got agility, strength, and power. Or uh, agility, survival, and power. Oh, kick this guy off the edge. Oh, nope, the other way. That little when it shows the X-ray like that it means I stunned him. <laughs> yeah, you scavenge around, find goodies and stuff. And the crafting components. Sometimes you'll find stuff like these energy bars that eat. It gives you a little bit of your health back. Let's see, you're supposed to go in here and find this dude's glasses. And he wanted me to find a gardening book that he had in here. Because they want to start a garden on top of their building. So they can grow food. What's this? Glasses, right there. Good, good stuff. Yeah, you press Q and it scans the area around you and shows you anything you can loot, stuff like that. It makes it a little bit easier. So you find yourself hitting Q a lot in this game. There's all kinds of crap for me in here to loot, so that's good. Some more crafting components, a book. I've never that's read anything. Banana recipes. Okay, that's the book he was looking for, I think. Maybe. No, nope, still says find a gardening book. Okay, oh, he's got. Casey said, okay. A ton of books in here. Big butt bonanza, nice. Seed to feed. Seed to feed a couch potatoes guide to vegetable. Guy. That's the one. There we go. Easy enough. All right, just keep looting all this shit. But yeah, most of the missions are pretty straightforward and and easy enough to figure out. And they just go here, get this. Ooh, a statue. A zombie statue. I don't know what those are for yet. But I've collected a few of them. I'm sure some kind of like a collectible item or something like that. Open. Oh, I'll show you guys this zombie. Oh, he's already dead. He walked into the spikes. <laughs> but if you see these, you can hit him in the back of this propane tank and it'll... <laughs> pop a hole on it and it'll explode. Lots of fun. Draw zombies, but hey, what? Oh shit! Those are the fast ones. 
But I just keep kicking them until they fall down and then stomp on their face. Dead. Great, another runner. Uh, oh shit. Show you the drop kick. Ah, damn you, motherfuckers. Anyway, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? Uh, bring Kalik his glasses. Okay. Let's do it. There. Uh, the blue icon means there was an airdrop over that way. It's probably pretty far away. Yeah, same distance. Uh, if you get these airdrops, they'll have uh, things you can turn into the quartermaster for like an experience bonus and stuff like that. But I'm not too worried about that right now. We'll just get back and turn this quest in. Oh shit, run past all these. Get away. Die for that. God damn it, I'm getting beat up. I gotta get out of here before I die. I'm gonna use med kit. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Now that blue thing that just popped out on the map means there's a survivor in trouble. Either. Okay, yeah, he's just getting harassed by zombies. This will be easy enough. Shovel is almost broken. Alright, they're dead. Save them, give me a little bit, a little bit of an experience bonus. And a lot of times they'll come up and say, "Hey, oh, thank you so much," and give you a little uh, weapon upgrade attachment or something. There he goes, Reward King, weapon upgrade. For some food, and they took me by surprise. Yes, I did. We'll see what this upgrade is. It's a king. Proves all your weapon statistics. Sweet. I need to repair my shovel. There we go, nice and brand new. Now I'll get back over here. Let's go turn these glasses in. Finish up this quest for you guys. Uh, go this way. No, let's just jump on this. <laughs> Come on, you gotta jump up and grab it. There it goes. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in the environment that you can kill the zombies on. Like if you push a zombie to this, he'll get impaled on those little spikes. Uh, I think this is the safe house. This is the main safe house in the storyline. Get all your quests from here and stuff. But the difference between day and night in this game is crazy. At nighttime, they got these, uh, they call them volatiles. They're like uh, hunters from Left 4 Dead. They'll jump on you and pretty much kill you. Well, um, they'll just tear you up for sure. This is the quartermaster. Every day you'll have some stuff to give you, just random stuff. I'll go give this dude his uh, glasses and his book. Lord, my glasses are filthy. What are you of course they're filthy. No, 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 never. It, it doesn't matter. Here, let me give you something for your job. That's Dallas and some experience. Oh yes. Yeah, the graphics in this game are great. I'm really digging it. And I even have my graphics on a lower setting than usual because I was streaming it yesterday and have to turn it down. Because my streaming, when I try to stream stuff, it just runs like crap. <laughs> it's it's a fun game though. You guys might want to check it out. It's, uh, I'm still up in the air whether there's any kind of replayability or not. But uh, I've been having fun with it so far. So let me know what you guys think of the video and what you think of the game so far if you have it or not. Leave a comment below and uh, make sure you guys like and share. I do appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you did, check out one of these other videos. Like and share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.